New LA Times poll says over 40% of Republicans are losing interest in the NFL because, well, they think the league does too much to show respect for black players. <laughs> Take a listen to Forbes.com's Terrence Moore on BNC's The World Tonight. Let's, let's break it down, going all the way back to Colin Kaepernick, which actually sparked some of the protests that we've seen from the right-wing media and right-wing leaning people uh, a la the Republican Party. And so perhaps the hip-hop generation was too much for them to handle uh, during the Super Bowl. Yeah, well, and you, you talk about uh, Colin Kaepernick. That was back in 2016. And let us not forget that the president at that time, Donald Trump, called all the people who were kneeling, who were black, by the way, SOBs, and got cheered for that. So that was a huge part of it. But then let's, let's go back to something else here, all right? And this, is, this does not get enough play. And th this, to me, what I'm going to say next, explains an awful lot why Brian Flores filed that law lawsuit, the fact that there were so few black coaches in the NFL, just one after last season. Now you got uh, two or we got three now, I guess. Uh, but let, think about this. Back in the fall of 2020, USA Today did this survey. And what they did was they, they looked through the records of uh, political records of those who were giving contributions to, to various campaigns, federal campaigns. And this was for the 2019 2020 time period. And they analyzed the uh, political contributions of something like 200 owners from the National Football League, from Major League Baseball, Major League Soccer, a National Hockey League, all, all across the board. And 86% of those, those donations went to Republicans and Republican causes. So this shouldn't be a surprise, all right? A lot of rich people, a lot of rich Republicans, and it starts at the top of the NFL and it goes all the way down. So this is reflecting what we're seeing with this poll. It goes beyond just the fans. It tells you what's going on in, in upper management all the way up to the ownerships. <laughs> Love Terrence Moore there. Hey, you know, this is not surprising. 45% of GOP saying they're doing too much. Uh, by the way, 9% say not enough. 5% of Democrats say they're doing too much. 57% of Democrats say they're not doing enough. My whole question is, they're saying they're doing too much. What exactly is the NFL doing for black players? I'm, I'm befuddled. That word always pops out of my mouth when it comes to the National Football League. What are they actually doing for black players that makes it feel like black players have an advantage over any of the white players. I don't get it. If you can answer that question, I can continue this discussion. I have a much deeper part yeah. that I want to talk about, but I want to get your opinion on this. And that's my, my first question to you. What are they supposedly doing for black players or black coaches? Obviously, they don't have enough coaches to do it for that make Republicans yeah. feel like that the NFL is doing too much for them. I mean, I, it's going to be short, and then I'm going to give you the floor back because you said you're befuddled. I'm worse than that. You know I'm not one for much pre-show mm -hmm. uh, research. Even when Jasmine sends the packet, mm -hmm. I'm not sure I read it all. So I actually thought this was a typo until mm -hmm. about 10 minutes ago. I thought they were saying the NFL's doing too mm -hmm. much to black players, you know, like mistreating them. <laughs> Just I actually mm -hmm. thought it was a typo, okay? And I started to say, Jasmine, this keeps saying four. You mean two? They're being abused? You know, you got, mm -hmm. what, Mike Tomlin, and then the guy in Miami who's like, my dad's black? You know, so I don't know what to tell you, but people have a real warp. It's like revert, what are, what are you talking about, reverse discrimination? There isn't any, okay? These are the same people who are in this poll. They're the same people who are filling out this poll, and the person who wrote the poll has a problem, too, and needs to go take a nap. But I'll give you the floor. But that's the thing. Here's the thing, though, Sharon. This poll right here, when it says, uh, saying they're doing too, 45% doing too much for the players. We're not even talking about the coaches. There are more <laughs> Republicans saying that the joke. NFL is doing too much, doing too much yeah. for black coaches, meaning they don't support the Rooney Rule, even the way it is, yeah. as flawed <laughs> as the Rooney Rule is right now. So there's even more who say that when it comes to the coach. <laughs> players? What? <laughs> is the National Football League <laughs> doing silly. besides 
using players and getting rid of I them when they're no use funny, anymore. They're paying them high salaries just like they're paying a lot of the white players the same thing. But here's the thing. This ain't about the National Football League. This ain't about Major League Baseball. It ain't about the NBA. As Terrence Moore talked about, 85 or 86% of Republican owners uh, support the Republican Party. This is about a microcosm of society. This is just, okay, let's mm-hmm. use the NFL as an excuse to go out here and say, hey, the world, the nation, they're doing too much for black people. Overall, not just black players, not coaches, black people in general. And when it comes Mm -hmm. to sports, Mm -hmm. we know that what Republicans, a lot of these Republicans, you hear them on the talking points when they come on Fox News, they say, just shut up and dribble. You're giving, we're giving you millions of dollars. We heard Donald Sterling come out and say, I clothe them. I feed them. What more do they want? I give them money. Mm -hmm. What more could you want? Mm -hmm. Rights, equality, respect, a say-so in our our, 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 our abuse, our, our treatment. That's just society in general. So, yes, sports in general, and I say this all the time, you can look at what's going on in sports in any aspect of sports, and you can look at our society and look at sports as just a small portion of the overall problems that we have in this country still. Even if these sports figures are getting paid a lot of money, they're still being mistreated in a lot of ways. I mean, they're clapping back at LeBron on Twitter anytime he, I don't even know what he's saying that's so radical. And that's the thing, what you just said by by those who are ignorant would be (laughs) labeled as radical. Boy, what you just said is so clear and obvious and mainstream thought that it's actually ridiculous. And one thing we're leaving out, um, we can't leave out that word respect. They didn't just say they're doing too much Mm. for black. They said they're doing too much to respect, show them respect. Respect. And so what that means is you are (laughs) unworthy. You're not even deserving it. Will you please sit down? Okay, I'm trying to have my Mm -hmm. beer and, and shout and yell and just scratch. And I don't want to hear from you. Mm -hmm. I really don't want to see you except in that Mm -hmm. uniform uh, Mm -hmm. with my team name, you know. So the whole thing is just crazy. And I don't know sometimes. We need you to be gladiators. You better dance. 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 And then, and then, if you, boy, you better not, you better not, not catch something or miss a shot. And I'll be right front and mm-hmm. center. And I think I have the right to slur you and call your mom out her name. And so what? I mm-hmm. paid for my ticket. This mm-hmm. whole thing. I don't even yep. know my We we are use gonna keep words that aren't on the back of your just, uniform, if you know what I mean. This is right. This is right. I don't know if we here, can here's, here's one, one, one final point. Poll. I just, what is it, it? It's the LA, the, well, yeah. Why, why are they even asking that question? Are they doing too much? So what kind of who, who asked that question? Right. I just uh, find uh, out that you may have superhuman packet. skills if you're an athlete, but don't ask to be treated like a human. And everybody wants to talk about Colin Kaepernick mm-hmm. and how was and how the GOP and how Donald Trump said SOBs or whatever and all that stuff. They use that as a pawn to kind of once again mask a, their bigger racism of society but at the same time Mm -hmm. they're talking about when Colin was kneeling and these players were kneeling and all these you know Republicans or other people who are non-black I'll just say it that way who think that way the GOP is thinking in certain ways saying well we're not going to watch the game anymore the ratings went down a little bit but you know another big reason why the ratings went down in the National Football League is because black people stopped watching too. I heard more people who were on our side, on mm-hmm. black people, who are saying they're not going to support the product because of the treatment of Colin Kaepernick and because they felt like he was being blackballed. So don't think it's just one side. They're saying, oh, well, we're not going to support it. If you're going to give support to those black players out there and you're giving them too much respect. Because you aren't giving the respect to black players and you're not hiring black coaches, that's where black people are coming up and saying, well, We're not going to give you our money. If you're not going to support people who look Mm -hmm. like me, who sound like me, who represent me, we're not going to give you our money. We're not going to support you. We're not going to buy your jerseys. We're not going to watch your product and your ratings will go down. And once again, that is the way if you want to spark change when it comes to the coaches on the sidelines, stop supporting the product. 
they care more about green you right a lot of these people yes. than they care about the black and white issues that we have in society history bottom tells line. us that bottom line bus boycott sanitation mm -hmm. workers dr king knew it they think we yeah. don't have money that's a form of you racism too we got so much money <laughs> okay we have so oh, much money i'm a trillion mom. spending Let's power over there but mm -hmm. collectively so mm -hmm. much money mm -hmm. and we need to teach some people a lesson mm -hmm. stop writing your polls jasmine find out please who wrote the poll i'll actually read that if you put that in your packet because it's ridiculous yeah any okay, it's a ridiculous question yeah use it yeah remember that puppy you got if the puppy ain't if the puppy ain't uh a home train or house train or whatever you can use that that newspaper for something i'm gonna wipe it up you know, yeah, clean up use that. Let, yeah yeah or just put it and on the floor and let the puppy go ahead and, you know, and there's paper everywhere dude, the puppy's what, just doing too much you know, the how, puppy's doing too much this leg in there okay yeah, do his puppy, put put his puppy chow on the paper. That's what he can do. 